Look at this amazing enclosed orchard. Can you see above us that we have is netting all over and around these trees, raised vegetable garden beds, chooks, ducks, everything. We're going to get Anna, who's the owner of this property, come and have a chat to us and tell us exactly what everything is. <laughs> We're having a little bit of fun here, a bit of a laugh, because I'm eating all of Anna's mandarins. And she doesn't really want to talk at all, but that's okay. We're going to force her to just have a little chat about the things that we have she has here. All these amazing trees. Everything is so healthy, and I want to know how you're managing to make it all healthy. Because my lime tree, and I think I know gardens, but I, my lime tree doesn't have any fruit. Why is yours so healthy? What's going on? What are you, what are you feeding it? You just put compost in. Your own compost? Did you bring in mushroom comp yeah. mushroom mulch yeah. and all that sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, little bits and pieces. And then just sea salt and that type of thing, but um, there is this a whole used to be, used process to be. really for doing all that, but it doesn't look as if you didn't do it, it's not necessarily always. Well, this used to be a cherry. This was, this grew cherries. What, this you had a whole load this, of Yeah, cherry this trees. was like a cherry farm before we bought it. So well, that's why it's called Cherry good. Tree Farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cherry so, Tree Farm, what a cute name. The soil's really good. And what did you have along here? Um, raspberries, boysenberries, blueberries and strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, around Christmas time, they oh. fruit blossomed, and you made lots of cakes and things and, yeah, and smoothies. Of smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> and so the strawberries just keep on regrowing, don't they? Yeah, they do. Do you um, move them around? Not really. They're just mainly in that bed, and then the berries grow up over the wire, and they're all netted. But and they sorry, go we on. have problems with the birds. That's why we've enclosed the whole area. So it's the only way I think you can grow the fruit successfully. Absolutely, absolutely. And so is that quite new in the enclosure? Yes. When did you get that? About three months ago. Mm, wow, yes. massive. And it's going to blossom and grow profusely now then without the birds. Yeah, it should. Yeah. And without foxes getting in and getting the chooks and the ducks. Yeah. And the chooks have wonderful um, manure, which is fantastic. I hope they're planting their manure in the right spots. Yeah, they are, I think. <laughs> You're doing poo in the right garden beds, chooks? <laughs> or at the ducks? What, what are, so what better for the ducks? Oh, just friendly? Just a bit of fun. <laughs> just a bit of fun. Beautiful cherries. So do you sell any of this fruit and no. veg? No. Is that something you want to do? Just, just friends. <laughs> <laughs> they're very generous, these guys, very generous. And they've got the most beautiful property, and oh god, we just love it. Look at all this. You know, I have a couple of trees in the back of my garden. Oh, I, which uh, well, we don't can, look as good as this. Nobody helps pick it, that's the thing. We've got a, two rows of cherry trees here, and then this fantastic row of espaliered apples. And I think that like I can see, and you've got a mixture of, of all sorts Granny Smiths and um, yeah. probably Fujis and all sorts of things. Is that right? Yes. yes. Love it. Love it. It's going to be a big wall soon. Oh, well, it is. I don't know what it is, but... Fresh water for the ducks? Yeah, they need fresh water every day. They love it. They'll be over here in a flash. Look at the ducks having a little paddle and a swim. It's been told that fresh water is good for their digestion. Well, the fact that they're swimming and it's not absorbed by the skin. Oh, so they get all the grubs and things from the soil. And, um, and then they get in the water and what, clean it off? Yeah, they jump in and then they get all muddy and they jump back in. And how is that good for their digestion? <laughs> I think it's because they're imbu 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 what's imbibing, what's the word? Hello. So, these are delicious. I'm going to spend all day just out walking around eating these beautiful mandarins. As my friends walk away because they won't be in the video. <laughs> Have you stolen some fruit? Is that what I see in your pockets? And yeah, lemons. I think you've got a few in yours as well. I could grab a lot more. Oh, yes. Oh, yum. We're going to walk away from the chickens and the ducks and the lemons and the berries and the vegetables right now. We've had a lovely morning wandering through these beautiful trees, grabbing some fruit, and now we're going. See you later.